miserable because they'd taken away all my my electronics and, and everything and I couldn't hang out with any friends. So I convinced my mom to let me get um, a $100 guitar that I, I paid for out of pocket, but it was only $100, which, um, you know, a lot of guitars are like $800 at least. So the fact that I was able to get this one for super cheap was great, but you can find a super cheap one at a local um, guitar shop. Um, I'm saying all this because, again, I think a lot of people think the bar of entry for learning any instrument is like you have to have all these other things line up before you can, but the reality is that you don't. Um, you can wing it and figure it out yourself, and I'm living proof of that, and I'm sort of here to tell you how I um, how I did that. So, yeah, basically I was grounded. Uh, I got a $100 guitar, and then I would just go in my room, and I would beg my mom to print me out chord charts and... Um, uh, tabs. So uh, she would just print them out and I wasn't able to look up YouTube tutorials. So I literally had to just figure it out myself. But um, by the end of that month that I was grounded, I was able to play a handful of things on the guitar. Um, so I, you know, I, I was like, why would I need a teacher now? I already figured this out. So I, I just kept, uh, kept going from there. And uh, here we are. Now, I, I will say at this point, I'm still I would consider myself relatively amateur in my guitar knowledge. But again, I will say that I played guitar on every song that I've ever released, um, basically, except for like Heaven Is You, I think, and maybe not even only a matter of time um, I played in that. So um, it's just proof that you can figure it out um, and you don't need permission to do that. Um, let me see, I have my notes here um, so I can make sure that I, I hit all the right points. Um, yeah, so basically, all you really need to learn if you want to learn the basics for guitar and uh, kind of any instrument, but I guess really guitar is uh, the the key of C. Um, so even if you don't have a guitar right now uh, with you, um, you know you can just sort of write this down or sort of know that all you need to learn is uh, the key of C to start, uh, and then you can just use a capo um, to change the key. Uh, it's really not. It's not the. Uh, that that hard. Um, so to start, we'll pull up the classic uh, C chord. Um, please hold while I fix my life. Um, I'm new to the iPad, so I'm learning it. Um, let's see, what's the best visual here? We're using Google. Google's our friend. Um, I'm an excellent teacher, clearly. Uh, <laughs> oh, jeez, this is going great. Come on. All right. So we have our C chord. Um, as you'll see here, a standard chord chart. That is not a chord chart. Woof, thank you guys for your patience. Um, we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. Um, perfect, so this is a classic C chord. Um, so basically I'll try and explain this as well as I can, but um, your fingers are one, two, three, four, and I think Five, maybe? This is how little I know. This is truly, anyone watching this who actually plays guitar is probably cringing and roasting me. Um, that's okay. So, um, there's uh, there's six strings on the guitar. Starting with the bottom string, you have the first string, the second string, the third string, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. So, it goes one to six, not one to six. Um, also, these things are called frets. So we got one, fret one, fret two, this is this thing, fret three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. You get the gist. Um, so those are called frets. Um, those will come in handy later. So basically, what you'll see on this, this chart here is uh, there are these lines. Um, this is the first, wait, hold on, let me make sure you get it. Yeah, this is the first string, and then this is the second string, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Now when it comes to the horizontal lines, we have the first, um, we have literally, I, I cannot, a uh, fret, geez, wow, we're, we are stumbling through this, folks. But anyone who's ever been on a live of mine knows that that's how we roll. So we have a fret, this is the first fret, the second fret is this row, the third fret is this row, fourth fret, fifth fret, and so on. <sighs> That's a lot. So we have strings one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then fret one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Um, so with specifically the chord C, um, there's three notes you're gonna be holding down, the rest you keep open, 
and the X means you don't play it. So the X means you're not going to play the top string. Um, you can basically look at it if you want to for your visual like this um, when you're playing the guitar. So this is uh, like this. Does that make sense? I hope I hope this people are tracking here. I hope this is making any sense at all. Um, yeah. So basically, <laughs> when it says like one, two, and three, remember back to the fingers that we had one, and then we have the second finger that I'm not going to hold up because I'm in trouble, and the third finger, and then the fourth. So when it says, oh, excuse me here, um, when it says one, that means you're gonna your first finger is gonna go on that that placement. So if this is the first string, that's the second string and the first fret. What that means is, here's the first string, right? Second string, first fret. So my first finger is going to go here, just like in here, where that is. I hope you're following. And then the second finger right here, oopsie, <laughs> oh, geez. we knew this would happen. Uh, the second uh, finger is going to go on to, let's see, one, two, three, fourth string. Second finger goes on to the fourth string and you'll see the second fret down. I really hope this is making sense. Um, so you will go to the fourth string. So string one, two, three, four, and then there's fret one and fret two. And as we see in the chart, we're on the second fret for this note. So that's where your second finger goes, is one, two, three, four, and then the second fret. So we're here now. I hope everybody's following along and able to build this. If not, again, you can learn this. I'm just teaching you how to read this so that you can teach yourself is really the goal because this is one chord, so I can't teach you them all. But once you know how to read this, you have mastered the key. You can learn any chord ever because you'll know, um, you'll understand what it's saying. So. We have those two down, and then there's the third, um, which is right here. Um, and so again, if we're going from the bottom up, again, it's string one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna be on the fifth string and K, uh, fret one, two, three with our third finger. So that's right here. So there's string one, two, three, four, five, fret one, two, three. We meet it right there, and we use our third finger, which is our ring finger goes there. So again, if you're building the chord, we have the first note, which is our first finger will be on the second string, first fret. So second string, first fret. The next note is uh, on the fourth string, second fret. So we go one, two, three, four, uh, and the second fret, which is here. And then the third note, which is the fifth string, third fret. So we count one, two, three, four, five, and then we go down to the third fret. And that, my friends, is a C chord. And you can strum it like so. That is how you play a C chord. Um, now the strumming part can be tricky. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to uh, get used to. Like sometimes it can hurt your fingers in the beginning. Totally normal. Unfortunately, you have to sort of break them in and get used to it. Um, some people use a pick. I actually don't ever. I never use a pick. I've never liked picks. But if that's your thing, go for it. Do whatever you wish. It's all up to you and whatnot. Um, so there's a C chord. Woof. We got through one chord. Everyone give themselves a round of applause. We made it. We did it. Um, again, this the whole purpose of this is just to show you how to read these guys um, and understand what they mean so that you can teach yourself these chords. Um, 90, no, not 90, but like there was some study like it was like, 60 to 70% of songs are made with the same four chords. And so once you learn four chords, then you can virtually play like most songs, which is ridiculous, but uh, it's crazy how it works that way. My best recommendation, by the way, for learning more chords um, is to learn the songs that you want to learn. Instead of going, okay, I need to learn C, E minor, D minor, F, G, A minor, all these fancy terms. Yeah, right. They're just letters. But anyway, it, instead of learning it that way, what you can do is you can say, okay, I want to learn, for example, Lie, Lie, Lie by Joshua Bassett. I, if I were just to pick pick a song, um, oh, geez, this is making me, I haven't set it up on my, my iPad yet. So please hold while I set up this tedious process. Oh, that's not even it. Great. Okay, cool. So we're on guitar. We're on like a, you can find any sort of 
um, you know, Cord's website or, or whatever, um, we're going to look up Lai 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 um, by Joshua Bassett. Ba -do -boo. Um, and then it'll show you all the chords in the song. And so what you can do is before you play that song, um, it might be reversed, you can see, okay, it has E minor. Oh, geez. Let's get the brightness down. Thank you for your patience. It has E minor, A minor, D minor, and B7. Now, if you look closely, you'll recognize this chart from uh, the chart we had earlier. It's the same thing. Come on. Let's see if it'll go. Jeez. Did you guys see my ring light? Very fancy. Okay, come on. It's not showing it, but, you know, we got to roll with it. Um, so there we go, hopefully. Anyway, it's the same chord chart. So my point is any song in the world you can search on these websites and you can um, you can learn them just by learning these chords. So my best advice for people beginning, instead of going through the tedious process of like learning all these chords and um, you know whatnot, you learn songs you wanna play, you learn the chords in that song and then you play that song and then after a while you're gonna have a plethora of chords you can choose from and you're gonna end up probably learning a new chord every song. I mean, every time I learn a new song like somebody else's, I end up incorporating something I've learned from that into a song that I write. And so it's a good way to sort of grow, um, you know, grow your palette, uh, if you may, um, and whatnot. So like, for example, on my song, La La La, um, oh, wow, it really, they did not get it right. Hold on. <laughs> wow, these are not the lyrics. Oh, geez. Okay, hold on. <laughs> this is hilarious. They did not get it right. Please hold. Hmm. Okay, so here's a good example. Uh, they did it in the wrong key. Um, but this is a really hard key. I honestly can't play half of these chords. It's, it's a really difficult key. But what you can do is, with, depending on whatever app or website you use, you can hit the transpose button. Um, and you can, you can transpose it to a key that looks more familiar to you. Um, so let me, let me find the right... Key. Or what you can also do is, if you're not finding a key that you're happy with, um, you can. There's often different versions of the song that you can learn from. Um, okay, there we go. We got it. All right, all right, all right, all right. No, that's not right at all. Oh my gosh, this is actually comical. I'm realizing this for the first time. I gotta send an email to Guitar Tabs because they did not get my. Uh, they did not get my song right. But you know, that's okay. That's okay. Um, so. Here it's close enough. It's close enough. But um but yeah, so here it'll be like it shows E minor is at the beginning of the the line and then C minor is in the middle. So it's E minor, so they told me all the things that you said is when you change to C and so on and so forth. So that's how you can sort of go along and whatnot. Now, strumming. Strumming is its own thing. Um again, I am a complete rookie and I am totally winging it. So when it comes to strumming, I sort of fake it and I just go with whatever I'm comfortable with. But, um, but I, uh, th there's a, there's different patterns you can lose, you can use, my brain just turned off. There are different patterns you can use. Um, a lot of times it's just down or up or pause. So let me show you this little guy here. I know it's reversed, that's such a bummer. Hopefully it's not reversed for you guys, but it shows, uh, it shows one and two and three and four and, here. So those are all the notes and all the notes in between. So if if the tempo is, what did it say the tempo is? I think it's a hundred and something. So we're going to go to our metronome. Uh, the tempo is a hundred, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now this is in four, four time. Most songs are gonna be in four, four time. We can talk about that on the next tutorial, but most songs are in four, four time. So in one measure, it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this guy, let's get back to that. Um, on guitar tabs, it has one and two and three and four. We're looking right here. One and two and three and four. So those ands are all those notes in between. So one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. I hope that makes sense. So when you're going into um, when you're going into learn it, it shows the strumming pattern. There's arrows for down and up. Um, so on the one, it goes down. So that would mean 
down. So one, and then on and there's nothing. And then um, for, this one is very confusing. I, I, this is actually hilarious. I should have done my prep work because this song is not done right. But um, one and two and three and four. If it was up and down, up and down, then it would be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, and, four and, and, and so on. If you if you get what I'm saying. So strumming patterns are something you're going to have to learn and practice. But it's it's actually super easy um, once you get the hang of it. Um, I'm sorry I can't be super helpful right now for this song. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm trying to think of what else there is that I can really, that I can teach you more chords, but ultimately like it's gonna just get messy and there's no point in that. So uh, I'll just go back to, um, again, showing people how to read a chord chart and hopefully showing and encouraging people that it's a lot easier than you think. If you just do a couple Google searches and a couple YouTube videos, you can actually learn it so fast. And once again, once you get one song, let me see how many songs these four chords are in. Let me just list them off and you tell me if you recognize um, some of these. Um, because it is, um, so it's like C, G, A minor, and F. If you can learn C, G, A minor, and F, write that down, then you are going to be able to play all of these songs. Let me, let me get you the list. Um, we have Don't Stop Believing by Journey. Where will you go? Can you feel the love tonight? With or without you, fall at your feet. Not pretty enough. If I were a boy by Beyonce, let it be. No woman, no cry. Take on me. Africa Batoto, Bird Plane. Hey Soul Sister. Uh, Someone Like You by Adele. There's The list goes on and on and on and on. And I'm telling you, you should look up the four chord songs on YouTube because these people did this medley of um, these four chords and how each song is just those. And so once you learn those, you're really gonna be flying, I, I promise you. Um, the Honestly, the hardest part about learning guitar is getting your fingers used to pressing down. And I would say maybe the F chord, because it requires strength pushing down this whole chord. You will learn that as you learn chords based off of our chart that we just, we just learned. Um, and if that chart didn't make sense, you can look up tutorials for how to read these charts. Again, my job here is to try and encourage you to be resourceful and um, figure out how to do it on your own um, because ultimately a lot of people have taught themselves, including myself. Um, so that's that's that. I'm trying to think of any uh, helpful information that I can give you. When it comes to tabs, that is a different thing entirely. So let me think of a song with tabs. Um, Fire and Rain is the first song I learned um, on on uh, guitar with tabs um, by James Taylor, excellent song. Uh, so those are a little bit different to read and those are for the harder, um, more confusing songs. Um, like uh, what's like Stairway to Heaven, for example, has a very um, specific uh, strumming and picking thing that you have to learn from that. So anyway, I hope this is making sense and if it's not, I don't blame you. Um, but this is what a uh, tab looks like. And if you were confused by the chords, you might be a little bit confused by this. But again, I will tell you, please YouTube um, it. And there are some great explanations that, that will teach this way better than I ever could. So do that. Um, do yourself a favor and do that. Um, since uh, we're here, I figure, and we're talking about La La La, I may as well do a little performance of La La La. Um, so we're going to pull that up. Um, actually I shouldn't need to pull it up because it is my song, but, um, you know, sometimes you can't be entirely sure that you know all the lyrics. Um, so, uh, yeah, I cannot tell you guys how many, I mean, I don't have to tell you guys how many times I've, I've forgotten the words to my songs mid performance. Um, it's kind of my thing. So anyway. I should do a specific tutorial for La 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 one day. I will do that. Let's put a pin in that. Anyway, back to the song. So they told me all the things that you said Running all over my name oh, oh, oh. And you acting all so innocent Like I'm the only one to blame You've been lying to you 
yourself Not everyone else Only thinking about yourself Darling, what the hell? I know what you say about me I hope that it makes you happy Can't seem to get me off your mind Try, try, try. It won't work this time, 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 time. I'll kiss your ass goodbye, bye, 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 bye. I'll kiss your ass goodbye. So the this is where we are. I literally forgot the second verse. Boom. So you're telling them it's all my fault. You're the victim this time. Whoa. And you wanna. It seem like it's your goal You're acting like everything's fine You've been lying to yourself Like everyone else Only thinking about yourself Darling, what the hell? I know what you say about me I hope that it makes you happy Can't seem to get me off your mind Oh, I know you're dying for your teeth you say about me oh oh you can't get me off your mind i know what you say about me i hope that it makes you happy can't seem to get me off your mind oh i know you're lying for your teeth don't tell the lies that you told me i've had enough of it this time so you can lie 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 It won't work this time, 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 time Kiss your ass good Bye, 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 bye oh, Kiss your ass goodbye Boom! So that one's La 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 by me Fun stuff Thank you all for coming I'll hold for the applause. Um, it's always so awkward on these lives, and then we're like, ah, I don't know what to do. Um, cool thing, random uh, fact about that is I actually came up with a, I don't know if it's been done before, but I've never seen it done before, a different strumming pattern. I don't know if you guys noticed, but on that one, the the first chord is, on the on the chorus, it goes, I know what you say about me. And then for the second chord, I strum it twice. Go, I hope that it makes you happy. For the third one, I strum it three times. Can't seem to get me off your And then for the fourth, you do it four My One, two, three, four And then I do a little better But you get the gist, so it's I know what you say about me One, two, that it makes you happy Two, three, lift you off your mind One, two, three, four One, two So anyway, uh, that's a fun little thing If you guys ever want to learn that song uh, I, I would say go on guitar tabs But honestly I don't, uh, I don't even know if they have an accurate one, so I'm going to have to make some emails. But anyway, um, again, I, I hope this has helped inspire people to understand that learning guitar is a lot easier than you think. Um, it's, it's something that sure might take a second to get the hang of, maybe, but I, I promise you, once you understand the key of C, you're going to be flying. And if you don't know any other chords, you have no interest in learning other chords, invest in a capo. I don't have one with me in this moment. I'm not going to get to get it. So capos will go and they'll change the key. Um, and we'll get into theory another day, but, um, capos are really great for, uh, again, only having to learn those six or seven chords that you can, um, you can just reuse in any key that you would possibly like. So super recommend that. Um, I only have about five minutes left to this, uh, this, little segment here. So I would love to open it up to any questions that people have. Oh, there's a question button. Great. Um, okay. We are going to be looking through our questions. Also, my ring light has just been turning this whole time. I don't know how that happened, but we're back. Um, we are going through the questions. Okay. Somebody said been playing guitar for 12 years, but still watching. I feel so embarrassed. I feel so embarrassed. Um, I'm sure you could have done a way better job than I could have, but somehow I'm here teaching people how to play. 
Um, somebody said they learned just for a moment on guitar. That's amazing. I'm so glad to hear that. That was a really fun one to write. Um, how long have you been playing guitar? I think since I was 15 or 14. I forget. I forget exactly which age. It was one of the two. But um, so, what is that? Five years? Crazy. Um, let's see other questions. We only got a few minutes left, but thank you all for sticking around. Um, um, somebody said, is there a tip you can give for playing F? Excellent question. F is a really hard one, but the cool thing is once you learn F, you learn so many other chords because you can actually... So, once you learn F, you actually learn a whole bunch of other chords and you can like, that's a whole other thing, but there's different ways to play certain chords. Um, so... Anyway, um, but the only thing I would say about F is um, sometimes you can use your middle finger to push down extra hard, um, but also then you limit yourself because you lose a finger. Um, but use your thumb. Your thumb in the back is your greatest tool. You're going to be pressing down real hard. And honestly, it's just like working out. It's a strength thing. The more you do it, the better you'll get. A lot of times people have a hard time pushing down, so they're, it's not quite as strong. But the longer you do it, you're going to be able to get it in no time, I promise. So um, that's the only... Um, that's the only advice I can give on the F chord, um, other than it's like a muscle. You gotta really, you gotta really strengthen it. Um, so, there's my best advice for that. Um, looking through these questions, boo doo boo boo boo. Um, let's see. We are scrolling through the questions. I always hate awkward silence on lives. It's, it makes me so uncomfortable, but we're working through it. Somebody said, "How are you doing lately?" Love you. I'm so glad you asked. I am. Doing all right. Um, I would say that I'm probably not sleeping as much as I should be, and I'm definitely not drinking as much water as I should be. So to anybody who hasn't had at least four of these today, the equivalent of four of these, um, you got to get on it and um, start drinking water because it's actually, it'll change your life. It's crazy. I feel like my entire life I didn't drink enough water. Like, I just didn't. And then one day my friend Luke Mullen, shout out to Luke, was like, you need to drink a glass of water the second you wake up. And he's like, you're not gonna wanna do it, but do it. And I was like, okay, fine. And I did it and it changed my life. And now I drink a lot more water a day. And I'm telling you, if you've never been a water drinker, like a heavy water drinker, I highly recommend it for everything. It'll, it'll be great for your mental health, for your physical health. You'll feel sharper, you'll feel, it's, it's actually sounds too good to be true and too simple to be realistic. But I would bet that anyone listening to this a year from now, if you start drinking more water today, I'm gonna have a conversation with you a year from now and you're gonna thank me. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Um, so anyway, um, but that wasn't even the question. What was the question? Um, th this is my attention span. Oh, somebody said how I'm doing. Yes, okay, great. That was sort of an answer. Um, do you have a favorite place to write songs? Yeah, sure, I can go on an hour and a half walk. Started pouring rain, lightning and thunder, but I was like, I'm here for it. And as I, uh, oh shoot, that's my time. I gotta go, I'm so sorry. Thank you very much. That story is gonna have to be cut short, but basically I was walking home and I pulled out a voice memo and I wrote like most of the chorus to that song like in one go. And then I wrote another song on a walk the next day. So my point is I like writing songs on walks. Everybody's gone. Okay, thank you very much. It's been a great time. Um, yeah, thank you all. And again, if you'd like me to do another one of these tutorials, I'd be happy to. Thank you so much TikTok for having me for the DIY summer camp. Uh, appreciate you all and take care. Peace.